Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a spicy chipotle chicken burger. And to start off with, I want to make the condiment I'll be using on the top of the sandwich. Starting off with a half of a cup of sour cream. I'll add in the juice of half of a lime. And two teaspoons of adobo sauce. Now that I have it all stirred together, I'm just going to set it over into the refrigerator so it stays cold until I'm ready for it. For the burgers themselves, I'm going to be starting off with one pound of ground chicken, to which I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese, a half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, two cloves of garlic that have been finely minced, and one chipotle pepper that's been finely chopped. I'll also be adding in one teaspoon of salt and about a half of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then if you want, you can also add in a half of a cup of cilantro. I don't like cilantro, so I won't be adding it today. This just now needs to be stirred together until all the ingredients have combined. Here at the stove, I've heated up my skillet with a one tablespoon of olive oil, and I've formed the chicken into four separate patties. I'll allow these to cook for about four to five minutes on the first side. After about five minutes, I've gone ahead and flipped them over. They're a nice golden brown. They need to cook on the other side for an additional four to five minutes or until they're cooked all the way through. I'll also be adding in one slice of sharp white cheddar cheese to each of the patties. Once the chicken burgers were cooked all the way through, I went ahead and transferred them onto my hamburger buns, which I've liberally dressed with the sauce that I made earlier. This one has a garnish of tomatoes, while this one has some red onion and a little bit of avocado. All I have left to do now is a dive in and try one of them out. They smell very good. I'm hoping they're a little bit on the spicy side. This is a very good chicken burger. I do get a small amount of heat from the chicken burger itself, but the majority of the spice is coming from the sauce that I made. It has a nice tangy, limey kick to it that pairs really well with all the flavors that I added into the chicken burger. Overall, this is an amazing burger that I definitely will be making over and over again. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I'm Evolve Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.